go. Okay, all right. Uh, so I'm partnering with my friends at B&H because we are starting a new monthly series called Gear of the Month. Where basically, every month I'm just gonna recommend just random gear from cameras to lenses to camera bags, tripods, all that stuff. It's gonna be a fun monthly series where I just recommend cool camera gear. Also, they hooked me up with my very own B&H gear page. And so if you wanna check out all my gear, then links will be down below. But it's a brand new series, a brand new month. And with that said, let's talk about my favorite gear for May 2022. So lately I've been traveling back and forth to California because I'm filming a show with Sony Electronics called The Lowdown. And because I'm traveling lots, I have really disliked carrying heavy camera bags now. Like I used to be a big proponent of like the biggest camera bag to store all your gear. Ah. But the more gear that I pack into my backpack, then the more strain that I'm gonna be carrying through the airport, through security, and it's just, it's not fun. And so I've been actually been loving this backpack. This is the Brevity Jumper. I actually have a lot of the backpacks, but I think the Jumper is their best backpack yet. And for me, when I travel back to California, like I often work on the plane, like I edit videos on the plane. And so I just need quick access to my laptop and my other accessories with a carry-on backpack. And so when it comes to traveling and carrying a minimum amount of camera gear, the Brevity Jumper is the bag that I highly recommend. It's just so pretty too, it's just so pretty. So in the bag, there are several compartments. In the front is an accessories uh, compartment to store things like cables or your chargers and stuff like that. And then behind it is where you store your camera gear. There you go. It has a cube system and customizable dividers, and so you can arrange the dividers however you want. But for me, I just place my camera, which is the Sony a7 III, or if I wanna bring the a7 IV, I can. Store that bad boy in my bag, and then of course I would bring my microphone, which I store right over here. And really, those are the, the two main things that I, I bring for when I travel these days. And then if I wanna include other accessories, like a 360 camera or a smaller camera, like the Sony ZV-E10, then I can pack it into one of the slots here. And what's cool is that if you need to pull out the camera and you don't wanna flip out the, the front pouch, then uh, there is a side door where you can pull out your camera, whip it out, take your photo or film whatever you wanna film and then put it back in, which is very convenient if you are a creator on the go. On the other side is a water bottle holder that's expandable, very important when you're traveling. And on the top is another compartment to house other accessories like headphones or glasses or snacks. You gotta be eating snacks when you're traveling. And then you have another zipper compartment to hold sensitive items like your keys, your wallet, or whatever. This backpack also has a laptop compartment, so, uh, which you can access right on the top over here. And uh, I have the M1 Max MacBook Pro, uh, which fits very comfortably. And I would assume the 16 inch version would fit as well. It might be a bit snug, but I, I would assume it would fit. But I have the 14 inch version, and so if you have that laptop, it fits totally fine. And the last couple of cool things about this bag is that right here in the back, you have this slot where you can slide this bag onto the handle of a rolling luggage. And so if you don't wanna carry a backpack, you'd rather just put it on your luggage. You can just slide your bag to the handle of a rolling luggage and away you go. And then for even more sensitive items like a passport, uh, there is a secret side compartment over here to hide those items. And that to me is really cool. I do have to return this bag and all the other gear back to B&H, but I love this bag so much that I actually bought one for, for my wife because she loves it so much too. So yeah, the Brevity Jumper. All right, backpack done. Item number two is a tripod. And the tripod that I recommend for this month is the Manfrotto Be Free Carbon Fiber GT Tripod. Is that the real name of it? Hold on, what's the name? It's the Manfrotto Be Free GT X Pro Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. This tripod is actually pretty rad. I, I really dig it. It's a, it's a heavy duty tripod that can support up to 26 and a half pounds. That's nuts. Here, check it out. So here's what it is just all packed up and it packs up inversely, which is really nice because you can just pack this tripod into any carry-on rolling luggage, which is what I do. And so to open it up, like that, there you go. And one of the main reasons why I recommend this tripod is because of the quick release system on top. If you don't know, the Manfrotto RC2 quick release system is my absolute favorite. It's super rugged, super durable, super easy to attach and detach a plate to the camera. And with all my previous tripods, I've had to attach a Manfrotto RC2 system to those tripods so that I can connect all my cameras together. It's just an overall great system to use. In fact, all my other tripods, I've had to attach a Manfrotto RC2 quick release system just so that all my tripods have the same quick release system. But with the Manfrotto Be Free GT X Pro Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod, wow, I said that right, that quick release system is already built in. And the other thing that I love about this tripod is that you can film or photograph top-down shots because it has this, uh, well, let me show you. Do, 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 do. Push this button on the bottom and then take that out and boom, well, it's the other way. Look at that. 
Now you can do top-down shots, which is so nice because how I normally do top-down shots in my studio is that I would connect my camera to a C-stand and it's just a, a big clunker of a mess. I mean, it's in a studio and so my C-stand just stays in one place, but if you're traveling somewhere, like you don't wanna bring a C-stand, you know? I'd much rather have a tripod that kinda does it all. A tripod that's sturdy, that can support heavy camera setups, and a tripod that can do top-down shots. And also, carbon fiber. Uh, oh, okay, all right, so this lens is a lens that I've already reviewed. This is the Sigma 18-50 DC-DN lens, a really good standard zoom lens for APS-C cameras like the Sony ZV-E10. Now, I got the ZV-E10 for my wife, and uh, most times she's been using the, the standard kit lens. It sucks, which is why I got this lens, because I already know it's good, and I probably won't be talking too much about this lens because I already made a video about it. But yeah, this is a great standard zoom lens for APS-C cameras. It takes sharp photos, handles chromatic aberration fairly well, and also a pretty affordable standard zoom lens. It's also very, very light. Like, I like the way this, this feels. It's a good, good weight to it. Again, I've already made a video talking about this lens, and I will probably put the link up over here if you want to check it out. But since this episode is, is morally based on traveling, if you're looking for a travel-friendly standard zoom lens and you have an APS-C camera like the ZV-E10, then yeah, definitely check this lens out. And if you are traveling, you are probably going to be filming a lot of videos or taking a lot of photos. In which case, having a backup is so important. Or if you have a computer that doesn't have a lot of space, like mine, then uh, having an external SSD drive is very, very important. This is the SanDisk 4TB Extreme Disk Pro. Is that what it is? It's officially the Extreme Pro portable SSD, but there is four terabytes of space in this drive. I have the, the one terabyte version and it's not enough. And the MacBook Pro that I already showed you only has two terabytes of storage. And you might think, two terabytes is more than enough, man. No, no, no. I film a lot of 4K, a lot of 10-bit lot of 422 4K video and photos, raw photos stored on that laptop and I'm, and I'm running out of space. But since I create a lot of content and I've been traveling a lot, having an external SSD like the SanDisk Extreme Pro is so, so important. The transfer speeds are incredibly fast, super durable, super tough, making it perfect for all types of travel. Although I wouldn't recommend like just throwing it off a cliff just to test it out because, well, that's, that's just silly. But yeah, if you're looking for an external hard drive to either extend the storage capacity of your current laptop or if you want a backup solution, then yeah, definitely check out the SanDisk Extreme Pro 4 terabyte. Look, I can do this. I just totally feel comfortable if I drop it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. And the last camera accessory that I recommend is something completely different, and it is a filter. It is a smoke filter. I've never used a smoke filter before, but my friend Valentina V recommended this. It pretty much emulates that foggy look that you that you would normally see if you have like a fog machine. And this filter is actually used on the show The Wonderful. Wait, not The Wonderful. The The Marvelous Miss Daisy. Wait, what's the show called? The Marvelous, Marvelous Miss Maisel? Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I love that show. It's a great show. It's a, it's a set back in the 1950s or 60s or something like that. And so there's a lot of foggy looking scenes. And if you don't have access to a fog machine or a haze machine, uh, putting this filter on your lens really emulates that. Uh, pretty well, actually. There are different intensities of this filter. This is the one-fourth version. Uh, anything above that, I think, is a bit too much. But yeah, just take a look at these shots over here. It just looks really, really cool. And uh, if you want to create some really cool cinematic looks with a filter like this, then yeah, definitely check out a smoke filter. Wonderful Mrs. Maisel. It's the marvelous Mrs. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. All right, well, that is all the gear that I'm recommending for May 2022 Travel Edition. Stay tuned next month for another episode of Gear of the Month. Also, let me know what kind of gear that you're looking for. If you want me to review like really weird camera gear accessories, then yeah, let me know in the comments below. All the links to the gear that you saw in this video are down below as well. And uh, that, that is, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for this episode of Gear of the Month. I don't wanna give up this gear though. Like I wanna keep all of this, especially the four terabyte SSD drive. I really, I really want this. And the tripod. I really want the tripod too. And the lens. And the filter. And the backpack. I just, I just kind of want it all.